In this part, we are going to create a project that includes this input field and the user can type some things. For example, we type L and it will give some suggestions. And these data are from the remote API. And when user click on this, it will put it inside the input field. And when user click outside the input field, the suggestion list will disappear. So now we go to the terminal and type npx create. We add app. And then we name the folders as we add autocomplete. And then we are going to use the admin LTE to help in starting our project. So we go to the admin LTE CDEN and then we copy this CSS. And then we click CD, we add autocomplete. And then we type cook dot to open the VS code. And then after we enter the VS code, we go to the public and go to the index.html and then we paste the link tag to our project so we can go to use the admin LTE and then we back to the source and go to the app.js and then we remove all of this and then we just type the input field and then we go to the terminal and then we type npm start now we can see the input field already appear here and now we are going to add the axios because we are going to use the axios to load the external data. So we type npm install axios and then we import the axios from axios. And then we are going to create the state users. So we use the use state and then we type users and then we set the initial state is an empty array and we also have to import the use state and then we are going to use the use effects to know the external data. So we type use effect and then we import the use effect from the react. And now we do not have the input dependency and also we do not do the cleanup functions. We are going to use the request res this API and we also remove this effect this word. And since we are going to use this API, so we copy this link and then we back to the app.js. We are going to create a function of load users is equal to async. And then we set the constant response is equal to await axios.get. And then we paste the link here. And then we set the users as the response.data.data. What we are going to do is to let you see the data. So we console.load the response dot data and then after we create this function of course we have to execute so we paste here and execute and then we back to the website and then we go to the console and now if we refresh you can see the response dot data will get these data but since we are going to use these data properties on this so at last we have to add dot data because we actually just want to get the user and we do not want to have others such as page or per page. We do not need this. So that's why we have to add dot data here. So we already no need to console.log so we can delete this. Now after we already load the data, we are going to add the on change handler functions. So we create constant on change handler is equal to we will pass the test and then we set the test as test and we haven't created this set test yet so we are going to use the use state and then we change this to test and then make the initial state as the empty string and we go to the input field and then we add the on change is equal to the event and then we call the functions on change handler and then we pass the target dot value and the value of the input is test and then we also change this class name to container which is from the admin LTE and we add the class name at the input field with the columns and then md12 so now if we refresh the page, you can see the input field. And then we also add some styles is equal to 
the margin top of 10 pixel so you can see there are some space between the top and also the input field and we can try to display the test so when we type some tests here it will display the same test so we just test whether we can set the test by using the input field so now we can delete this and just leave the input field here so now we just have the input field in this part we will go to get the suggestion based on what the user type in the input field so we go to the on change handlers and the first thing we are going to do is to check whether the user has typed something so we are going to add if the test.length is greater than zero and right before the if else we are going to let the matches is equal to an empty array and then the matches is equal to the users the users is coming from the remote data so the users dot filter and users and then we create the regular expressions is equal to the and we put the gi here and this gi modifier is used to do a case insensitive so we do not care about the case so we will return those user with the email that match these regular expressions and then we can set the suggestions We haven't created a state of suggestions, so here we add a use state and then we change this to suggestions and then we correct this to a capitalized S and we set the suggestions as an empty array for the initial state. Back to the on change handler, we set the suggestions as the matches. So here, right before, we can console.load the matches to see what happened inside these functions. We have to change this to user. There's a typo. So now we can back to the web. And if we type M, you can see it has the results that the email contained the M. And if we continue typing, now you will get just has this morris because we only have this email with M O R. The other two do not have the MOR. So this is how to make the suggestions. At this moment, you can see the suggestions just displayed in the console. And now we want to render under the input field. So we back to the project and go to the input field. And under the input field, we are going to add if there is suggestions, then we are going to render the suggestion list by suggestions.map and then suggestion i and then we are going to render the div and the div is going to render the suggestion dot email and then we go to the div and add the key the key is equal to the index so now we go to the web page and refresh so if we type m again you can see it already have the suggestions and now we are going to add the style and including the styles from the admin LTE so we use the class name and then we use the same styles here. We copy this and paste. And then we also add justify content md center. And now we want to add the styles that such that the cursor become a pointer. And also when the mouse over the selections, it should have some colors in the background. So now we go to the source folder and create a new file called custom.css and under here we are going to add a class name is suggestion and now we add the cursor is pointer and then the border with one pixel and actually we can use border right is one pixel so I let black and then we will duplicate this and we just want to use the left and also the bottom has the border. Now we have to go back to the app.js and add the class 
am suggest and it should be suggestion and then we go to the top and then we import the custom.css and then we delete logo and we refresh the page now you can see the suggestion is already displayed here with the border and now we want to add the hover style so right here we type dot suggestions hover and then the background color is gray now if we go to the suggestions and we mouse over it it will have the gray background colors we already have the suggestion list however when we click on this there's nothing happens so we have to deal with this problem and we back to the app.js and now we are going to create another handler and which is the on suggest handler so we create a constant and then on suggest handler is equal to and then again we pass the test and then we set the test as the test and then after we already click on the suggestion list it should clear the suggestion list so we set the suggestions to the empty array so now we can buy this to our list so we go back to our list here and then we go to the div and then we add on click and then we trigger the functions and then we pass the suggestion dot email so now if we back to the web and then we click on this now you can see it already added to the input field however we also have to handle the problems that when the mouse is clicked on the other area this list should be disappear so we go to the input field and add on blur and then we are going to trigger the function to clear the suggestion list however we should add the time out and just a very short period of time and then we set the suggestions and then we clear the array and then we click save now if we click on other area you can see the list disappear you may ask why we have to add the set timeout we can demonstrate if we do not have the set timeout here every time if we click on the list because we already not in the input field we cannot set the test here so we have to add the timeout functions so it can set the test to the input field and then it clear the suggestion list after a very short time so if we type something and then we click on this you can see this still can set the test to the input field and if we click on the other area the list will disappear so this is what we want to do